Hi friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing about how we can create an API in Python using Fast API that gives the response back in streaming. If you see this sample code, uh, I have used this Fast API library and I am importing the streaming response uh, actually back and this helps you to respond to give the response back in streaming fashion. What I mean by that is whenever you hit an API, you will get the whole response back in JSON. But assume you want to re uh, reverse the response or give the response back in a batches like small, small, like continuously it is coming. Uh, to do that, you can use this streaming response class. Let me practically show you this. I have already written this code in my Python. So what you guys can do it here is uh, create a folder in your local and open that folder from Visual Studio code using this open folder option and inside which you can create a main.python file and copy paste this whole code uh, I will try to give this code in the description as well and if you see here I am using a fast API class and creating an object for it and uh, using this fast API I am using I am creating two one is a post method at a root URL uh, which will simply gives hello wafa and another is a get which is at this URL slash stream and what I am doing inside of it is it's a it's basically a taking a request and again this request is we are importing from the fast API and uh, why this request is needed let's assume you want to pass something in a request body then you can use that this commented code talk about the same thing but assume in our case actually even though I have this request input parameter I'm not using it uh, because I am going to test this using the get request where this is the URL slash stream and what I am doing instead of it is I created a method this method has a for loop uh, ranging 1 to 10 numbers and it is printing back 1 to 10 numbers and every time in the loop I am yielding the result back so yielding means partially returning the data back uh, if you don't know what is yield in my python list if, uh, playlist I have a uh, video on the yield please watch that and every iteration I am keeping a sleep for one second that means for one second wait and go to the next iteration and in the next iteration yield the result back again so data 1 data 2 data 3 like that it will continuously yield the results with one gap one second gap and this whole method actually I am calling inside the streaming response you see the same method number generator I am calling it here the media type you need to set it as a text slash event stream so a simple code and uh, when I go to this URL via API call get request, then I should get the streaming response back. To work this whole code, actually you need this fast API to be installed in your local or a virtual environment and also UVCon. So that is the reason if I go to the requirements.txt, I have the fast API and UVCon both. So now what I can do, I, I will try to go to the um, terminal, new terminal and let's activate my virtual environment again what if you guys don't know what is virtual environment please watch my uh, python playlist you will you will find a video there so here i will try to run this command uvcon space uh, what is the file name main is the file file name inside which app is a variable which creates the fast api object so when i hit this it should take this whole code and host in the uvcon server locally and give the url back so once I get a URL, to that URL, I will append this portion to hit this method and try to see if I get a streaming response back or not. Let's wait for the, okay, I think the execution completed here. Now when I hit this URL, uh, if, you, if you see this, it is open, it opened in a browser, but right now at a root URL, uh, we have a method, but which is a post method, which can response, it is, which is not a get one. That is the reason you see method is not allowed here. But that is fine for now for me it is a slash stream so when i go to this url i should see the stream response back you see this is right now it is loading it and it, it should stream the data back from 1 to 10. so let's wait you see data 1 to 9 okay so i think it, it gives a feeling like it streamed everything let me hit once again it should print one after another okay there was a small issue here I used time.sleep but actually we should use await asynchronous sleep one because it's an asynchronous operation we need to use this asynchronous IO instead of time.sleep because of that reason we were not able to see that streaming response but now I corrected that code 
and now if i go back and hit this url i should see the data streaming back here you see one after another it is continuously loading so this is called streaming response uh, whenever you want to stream whenever you are working with a high amount of data to be written back you can stream the response back uh, in little little bit of a chunks like how i am returning one after another every number i hope you guys uh, feel this video is helpful to you guys uh, please go ahead and try it it is super cool to try thank you for watching have a nice day